Welcome back guys to the channel and I'm very happy to welcome you to this Flutter tutorial where we'll be learning how to create an entire app using Firebase, Flutter and Block. The first video, so the video of today, is going to be the introduction and the Firebase setup. So very straightforward. The Firebase setup is actually going to be a bit speed up because I've made a dedicated video on how to do it. You can find it on the channel as well. So let's jump right into it. So the goal with this app is to create some sort of social media. Let's call it InstaX. So basically it's gonna be a mix between Instagram and Twitter. The goal is to be able to see posts like this with a post could either be a picture and some text, some text alone or only a picture. And we'll have a login and register screen that that is not displayed right here, but we'll have that. And the goal is to be able for everyone to add a new post and will be displayed in the list view right here. As you can see at the very top, I have a profile picture as well as a dynamic text here that shows the name of the person that is actually logged in and a little button right here to log out of the app. So very straightforward, very simple app, but you'll see that it's a bit challenging in the way where Firebase and Flutter are working together very nicely. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to create your own more complex app using those two amazing tools. And not to forget Block, which is gonna be the state management for all of this, basically handling the UI uh, response of the backend calls that we'll be making. So let's jump right into it. So first of all, we'll going to create a new Flutter project. So I'll assume that you already have Flutter installed on your uh, computer, that you already have VS Code and as well some, some sort of emulator. As you can see on the left here, I have mine running and it's actually an iPhone. If you're developing on Windows computer and you have an Android uh, emulator, that's fine as well. You can as well use your uh, personal phone to develop. That doesn't really matter here. So let's create a new project. So for that, command shift P and I'm gonna create a new Flutter project. I'm gonna create an empty application and I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna name it InstaX. All right, so I press enter and now the app is getting created and it's now fully created. So I have this main.dart file, which is basically gonna be the entry point of our app with this void main function here that will be the entry point. So we can just go ahead and try to build this app uh, on our emulator to see what we are working with right now. And while that's building, I uh, will go ahead and set up Firebase. So to do so, you have to go on firebase.google.com. And once you're here, you go to console on the top right corner. So once you're here, I already have a Flutter pro a Firebase project, sorry, but you'll click on add a new project. You enter the name of your project. So for us, it's InstaX. Click on continue. You can enable analytics if you want, but I won't because it's just a test project. And this is creating the, the, the Firebase project for us. So let's see if that runs already. It doesn't run already, but that's very fine. So the goal here, as you saw uh, on the, um, the mockup here that we have, uh, the series is basically going to be divided in few, uh, 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 let's say 15 to 20 episodes uh, covering all the details to be able to create this actual app. So the project in Firebase is now complete. So let's go ahead and open this. So we have, uh, here we are on the console of our Firebase project and I'm gonna add a new iOS uh, project. So for that, I need a bundle ID. So while this is running, I'll go inside my terminal and I'm gonna type open iOS slash runner, sorry, runner dot XC workspace and press enter. And so basically what's that gonna do is gonna open Xcode for me and from Xcode, I'll be able to get the bundle ID, which is basically the identifier of my app. So uh, where is Xcode? Is it coming? Uh, yeah, it's probably coming. While that's done, uh, we'll see here that the app is running on our emulator and everything is done. Hello world. If I add some uh, exclamation point here and reload the app, you'll see that it's working 
very well. In the meantime, I have my Xcode that is launched. And from here, I can go on the runner file on the left and I can see here bundle identifier. And here I see the bundle identifier. So I click on the little arrow. I copy that. I will reduce that. Go back on, sorry, here on Firebase. Paste that. App nickname if I want to add an app nickname, but I'm, I don't care right now. Register app. Again, there is a full video on how to do that on the channel. So if you're a bit lost, you can directly go there and I'll I explain everything in details there. So next, next, you don't care about all that. Continue to console. So you've seen that I've downloaded a file and now it's already set up. So I've downloaded a file and this file is basically, uh, it's basically the Google services that we'll need. So what I'm gonna do is gonna um, open that here, okay. And basically I'm gonna navigate to InstaX and I'm gonna go onto the iOS folder, runner, and I'm gonna take the file that I just downloaded and I'm gonna paste it right here. I'm going to delete the little extension right there. If you have one, you delete it. Otherwise, it's going to be just fine like it is right now. And so if we navigate back to our VS code, we'll normally be able to see exactly under runner the Google service uh, info.plist that we just added. So you want to go ahead and actually add that file as well to the Xcode project. So here under runner, I'll go ahead and um, as well, take this file and drag it here. A new window will pop up and I will click on finish and the bundle identifier is complete. So that's perfect. That's, um, that's done for, for, uh, for iOS. If you want to do it for Android, again, I recommend you to go check out the video, uh, how to set up a Firebase on your Flutter project. Uh, that's exactly what I explained there in details if you're working with iOS. So now that we have this, um, this Firebase project running, uh, we'll go ahead and click on Build Authentication as well Firestore Database and Storage. So basically those are the three services that we'll be using in our app. Uh, authentication will be for authenticated the user. We'll use Firestore database to store our data. So storing our users and storing our posts. And you can see here, you can either go in production mode or in test mode. I'll go in test mode, but you can either decide uh, what you want. I'm in Europe, so I will enable in Europe. And once that's done, I will as well enable the storage. It's very important because if I don't enable the storage, I won't be able to store profile pictures and remember from our mockup, we want to be able to store profile picture as well as post picture. So this is exactly what we'll do. So that's done. So we have here our Firestore project. We'll go in details on how to do that and how that works in later videos. And lately, the storage, uh, the storage uh, stuff that we need to enable, same, I'll go in test mode. You can't change that because it's linked to Firestore. So that's that's creating our default bucket. So basically the place where we will put our pictures. And I think we're pretty much good for Firebase. It's running right now, but that's pretty much done. So what you want to do uh, actually in your code, uh, you want to be able to here in the main function, add some few stuff in order to be able to work with Firebase. So you want to add this first to make sure everything is right rightly initialized and then to work with firebase you want to add initial app and this is a future so it needs to be asynchronous and you'll see that you have right here a little error because it says that you need to have a firebase core imported so i will directly import that but then you need to import the package itself and so to do so we'll go on to the perspect.yaml file and here under dependencies, I'm going to add some Firebase dependencies. So Firebase authentication, but I don't need that one. I'm just going to download Firebase core. And those dependencies, you can find them in a website called pub.dev. So if you navigate to the web, pub.dev, Firebase core, 
and you'll see this extension right here. So it's not the same version that we're using, but that's going to be just fine. And with that, you see that the error here disappeared. And if we relaunch the app, we'll have an error normally because we changed so much stuff. No, that's working perfectly. So that's fine. So yeah, well, the error, that's it. So I will close the app. So that's it for the first video, guys. Uh, we have uh, our project set up as well as uh, our Firebase project set up. And I'll see you in the next video where we'll be talking about the app structure. See you guys.